Hey guys, welcome back to the garage and today we're going to be going over my top three Suzuki Samurai modifications. started please make sure to like subscribe and comment um, there's much more to come with my samurai and also my first gen tundra so if you guys want to see that uh, please subscribe comment let me know what you want to see okay and for my top modifications it's really going to be things that are more specific to uh, the suzuki samurai um, obviously Everyone needs to have tires, wheels, um, suspension, and lockers and stuff like that. Um, every off-road vehicle is going to benefit from it. But I'm talking my favorite modifications specifically for a Suzuki Samurai. All right, number one, my favorite modification is going to be lower transfer case gears. Um, in my particular Samurai, I have the 6.5 to 1 gears. Um, it just make makes driving off road and and on road so much so much better, especially when you have bigger tires, um, and then you try not to do rock crawling and stuff like that. The stock transfer case is just not low enough. So, with these lower gears, even with the stock gears and the diff, I'm able to just I can just take my foot off the clutch and it's just gonna crawl. Um, makes driving off road so much easier. Another added benefit of having the lower transfer case gears, not just uh, for off-road, but for on-road, it actually lowers your high range as well. So it's about a 20% reduction in that. I believe it's a, a one seven to one ratio. So it gives you that uh, needed power when you're trying to drive this on the street, even though, you know, these things don't exactly have lots of power on the top end at all. All right, for my number two modification, you're gonna have to forgive me for the mess. I'm currently working on this rear axle, getting that rebuilt. Um, and we're also in the middle of a timing belt job. Um, but for my number two, it's gonna be power steering. Um, such a game changer with having power steering um, on and off-road, but especially off-road. If you're gonna run, you know, these bigger tires, especially ones that are wide, 12 and a half inch wide tires, you're gonna need some power steering. I mean, I tried it here for a little bit with just the manual steering and uh, it was nearly impossible off-road. I mean, it was so difficult to crawl through terrain, um, just stalling a bunch and it's just, it made things so much more difficult. Um, so a couple different options for it. So what you can do is what most people do, I would say, is, uh, and what I did, which is to run the electric power steering off of Prius. I believe they come in some different Nissan models as well. Um, but that works great um, for smaller tires and um, light off-road use. But uh, for me, I held up for a little bit, but it just, it wasn't enough. Um, my front diff is welded. And I also, like I said, 12 and a half inch wide tires it just uh it just wasn't enough it just constantly was just it was just binding and it just it wouldn't turn um so what it did upgrade to uh, which i have a video on this is this uh um, hydraulic electric hydraulic uh, volvo power steering pump um and so got that pump there and then below you can see i swapped the stock uh manual steering box out of the Samurai and I put the uh, GeoTracker uh, Sidekick power steering box in there and man I tell you what, what a huge difference it makes. Um, even with the welded front diff, um, I just took a trip with this uh, last month and it was just night and day how much better it was with this hydraulic power steering rather than that the Prius power steering. It's just so much stronger. 
All right, back inside the Samurai for the third modification. Um, this is one I haven't seen a lot of people uh, do to their Samurais or talk about, and that's gonna be a hand throttle. Um, if you drive off-road um, and you have a manual transmission, um, being able to keep that constant uh, speed or um, input on the throttle is it's so nice. Um, so it's this, um, this one I got here is from Terraflex. Uh, it's for, I believe it's for a, a TJ, um, but of course, you know, you can make it fit on these Samurais too, so um, that's what I did. And so it's really sweet, so, you know, you can just pull it up like this and it locks into different places, whichever uh, different position you want the throttle to be in. Um, so super nice, basically cruise control for off-road, highly recommend it. All right, and just to throw a couple bonuses in there, um, one of the modifications that I really like is this uh, uh, little, I guess, door mo modification uh, where they just cut the top of the hinge off there. So you can take the doors off of these things and who doesn't want to have the doors off on their Samurai? And lastly, um, I can't speak on it yet um, because obviously I'm still working on it. Um, it's going to be Toyota axles. Um, the Samurai axles, we all know they have their limitations. Um, so I'm excited to be able to get some bigger axles in there and see uh, what we can get this thing into. Um, and also with the Toyota axles, another modification that I know is going to be great that I can't speak on quite yet is YJ leaf springs. Um, yeah, these stock leaf springs are very stiff. Um, you can kind of see in the rear, uh, it kind of sits a little low, and that's because there's a couple broken springs back there. And yeah, this thing is just, um, it's ready for a, an overhaul. Um, so stay tuned, uh, lots to come on this. All right, and that's gonna do it for my top three favorite Suzuki Samurai modifications. If you guys would please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, do all that stuff. Uh, let me know again what you guys want to see. Let me know what your favorite modifications are for your Samurai. Stuff I'm leaving out. Stuff that I could do to mine. I'm always looking to improve it. Bounce ideas off each other. So yeah, thanks for watching.